So I am going to look at the stages of thought in The Moon We Left Behind by Charles Krauthammer. I hope you've looked him up, and I hope that you have looked behind the title and considered the Washington Post as a credible source. So the first thing, and the fact that this was done in 2009, so this is going on six and a half years um, since this was written. Things have changed considerably in that time. First paragraph. This is where he talks about, uh, he uses a quote from an authority figure. And basically he asks the question, how could we have abandoned the space program? So there's a question here that he raises. He raises it in a particular way because, in, you know, in a sense, he's already answered that question by calling it, by saying, how could we have abandoned it? Using that word, abandoned. The next thing he talks about is here, and he's just demonstrating how we really have abandoned it. You know, George Bush abandoned it, Obama abandoned it. Politically, we have abandoned it. Um, here's more evidence of how we have abandoned. How abandoned. Okay. Um, we scroll down a little bit. And again, how we abandoned. And again, how. We haven't taken care of the shuttle. It's too dangerous to fly anymore. This was 2009. Um, then we have even more evidence that we're in trouble. So much so that we have to beg a ride from the Russians. Here, he switches from this evidence of how we abandoned the space program to addressing other people's argument. So what, you say? Um, and, again down here, you know, so what, we, you say, so what we have a financial crisis. So what we have poverty and disease and social ills. These are these are questions that he has. If he raises them, he has to answer them. These are questions from the naysayers. In this paragraph, he says, "Why do I? Why do it?" In other words, uh, he addresses the argument for here and here. Okay. And the the real he 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 does address he does address these questions okay and he does it. In, in this paragraph right here. And then down here, he gives an example of one of the most important, unexpected uh, benefits of the space program. And that is what he calls the iconic blue planet photograph that was brought back by Apollo 8. And he mentions in an aside that he kind of extends the blue planet example by saying that. And it was just this kind of photo just that they brought back that made us much more conscious about the fragility of the Earth the notion of planet Earth. And lastly, he asks us whether we, um, what we should do. In other words, he raises the question, 
that we had at the beginning. Which was, how could we do this then? How could we have done this? And his response is that we have abandoned the space program. And it's really what they call a rhetorical question. Uh, because he's, he's already addressed this further on. So, you know, basically he's saying, how could we turn our backs on Kennedy? And how can we turn our backs on the evidence that we got from the moon, like the blue planet photograph? And probably more impo most importantly of all is how have we denied our own urge, to human urge, to explore? So this is how I see Krauthammer has organized his article in stages of thought. It's pretty simple, really. Makes an assertion, backs it up, addresses the naysayers, gives examples of benefits, and then kind of appeals to some shaming at the end. We should be ashamed of ourselves for abandoning the moon because that means we're abandoning something about our own humanity. <laughs>